Vestal, New York, a thriving metropolis in the heart of modern humanity. For millennia after millennia, its people have known nothing but peace, delight, and unbridled prosperity. But strange things are now in motion in this city on a hill, this worldly beacon of light. How will its citizens react when the land they love turns against them? When paradise turns to scare us? Let's find out. Yeah, no. Do not. Oh. Dear God. What does it say, sir? I can't tell you. It's top secret red classified CIA. All right, I'll tell you. But if this leaks out, I'll have you killed. I understand, sir. An apocalypse is coming. And it's coming for Vestal. For Vestal? Shut up! If the wrong ears hear this, we're doomed. What do we do, sir? There's only one man I trust can save us now. Shane Danger. He's our only hope. There's supposed to be a phone here. There's not a phone here. He's our only hope. Hello? Mr. President? Hello, Shane. There's an apocalypse coming. Vestal needs you. Well, I guess I can take one more job before I retire. It's time to kick some ass-pocalypse. Death. Okay? What do you have for me? I have six. 
examples from a site of a woman that was killed by nature. <gasps> Who was this woman? <laughs> she was my wife. I, I, I'm sorry. Never, ever, ever. My assistant will now run science tests on these samples. Go. levels of dangerous toxins. The tectonic plates beneath Vessel are shifting, and the atmosphere is burning up at an alarming rate. It's far worse than we ever feared. It's an apocalypse. An apocalypse! But why, man? Why is this happening to the marvelous city of Vestal? It must be the wrath of Mother Nature. Oh, you must be one dumb scientist. This isn't an act of nature. Huh? Who are you? How did you get into my lab? There's no time to talk about that now. How do you know this isn't because nature? I believe this apocalypse was man-made. How do you know that? I was by the bridge the other day. I heard some dudes talking about making an apocalypse. <gasps> Holy shit, that's serious. I'm here to help you stop this person, whoever they are. Sorry, lady. Ever since my wife died, I was alone. Besides, you're a woman. You can't stop nature. Okay, okay, how do I zoom in? Oh, do the pitchy thing. Okay, okay. Wrong way. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, go. Oh, yes, I can. Woman can do anything. Just wait and see. I am not happy about this. You guys should probably go to the bridge to search for clues. Ah, the apocalypse! Don't run! Remember me as I was! Ah! Ah!
aren't here anymore. Let's look for clues. I agree. <gasps> look out! Oh! A tiger! Oh my gosh, it's a tiger! Thank you! No problem! Why did that tiger attack us? You know there's a town known for their tigers. Union Endicott! This must have been the work of their king. Ronald Union Endicott. <laughs> we have to go! Stop him! I guess you're right. I know you're trying to seduce me, Maggie, but I still love my wife, and I will never love again. You're too hard on yourself, Shane Danger. Only revenge will satisfy me now. Shane, I have to tell you something. What is it? Spit it out. Ronald Union Endicott, the man who's trying to bring the apocalypse? My ex fiance. <gasps> Do you still have feelings for him? Yes. Good evening and welcome to Vestal News Network. I'm Candy Bonbon. Bon. And I'm Posh Kutheri. Tonight's story What's the difference between my ex husband and the apocalypse? Both are running all around town doing whoever they want. We have a master actual foot footage, foot footage of the damage that the apocalypse has been causing around town. Beware if you have small children. The scenes are bloody terrifying. <laughs> Did you hear something? No. You sure? Yes. I could have sworn I heard something. Candy, must I remind you? We are live. Stay professional. <laughs> Go. <gasps> That's some serious no, shit. No. <laughs> no, it's Urgent news, Mr. President. The man behind the apocalypse is my ex-husband, Ronald Union Endicott. I knew it all along. We need to stop him, no matter what it takes. Secretary! <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, what are you, what are you wearing? It's supposed to be my secretary. Take this off. Take this off. Secretary! Yes, sir. Please assemble all of Vessel's troops. We must go to war with Ronald Union Endicott at once. Right away, sir. Oh! No, no secretary! all on our own now. He was the best friend I ever had. And now he's gone. <laughs> and now he's gone. <laughs> Let us see he didn't die in vain. Let's do this thing! not here. How do we find Ronald? Just turn around. Ronald! You won't be able to stop me or the apocalypse unless you disassemble this bomb. Bye, best of losers! <gasps> Dear God! I can't reach the bomb! I have too many muscles! 
I need one of you guys to do it. The president and I don't know how to stop it. Luckily, I have a secret alter ego who may be able to help. <gasps> oh my god, Mr. President, are you secretly Bruce Wayne, billionaire playboy? Yes, a secret I kept to protect Vestal and its citizens. And you can stop that bomb? No, but I have a secret alter ego who may be able to help. I'm Batman! Mr. President! Uh, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But you're gonna have to take on Ronald without me. I must confess, he's my second cousin. Or maybe my third. Either way, I couldn't hurt him. You will be avenged, Mr. President. We are going to stop you and the apocalypse right now. Never. Just give up, Ronnie. You don't have to do this. Maggie, why are you doing this? You know I still have feelings for you. You do? It's a trap! Ronald, you'll pay! Bring it on, Shane Danger! Never love again, but you proved me wrong. Kiss me, Maggie, right on the apocalypse. Wow, you're a way better kisser than Ronald ever was. I know. I love you, Maggie Marvels, and together we can bring peace and prosperity to Vestal for as long as we shall live. 